We're in the middle of a revival of, of popular craft right now, and one that happens to be very similar to the revival of craft that took place in the 1960s and 70s, and really um, is the broader social context for the elevation of fiber within the art world. String felt thread provides a historical context for these revivals, um, and it's a story that's accessible to academics, contemporary artists, and anyone who enjoys craft. The idea for the book lies in an experience I had as an undergraduate student. I was uh, taking a course in um, modern art and I was introduced to the work of a number of really remarkable artists whose work is often dismissed as craft or weaving. Ordinarily their work is talked about or was at the time talked about as a form of, of craft, but in this course it was juxtaposed against the work of uh, much uh, more well-known um, sculptors associated with movements like post-minimalism or process art. And that juxtaposition really made me start to think about um, the history of art and a number of questions that have to do with the way the art world is structured, specifically around hierarchies like that um, between art and craft. These artists faced a number of obstacles. First of all, fiber is largely associated with the home, the domestic sphere, weaving, um, women's work, decoration, etc. And they try very hard to distinguish their work as a form of autonomous sculpture rather than something that you might associate with, say, with knitting or crochet. There was also, of course, the hierarchy of art and craft, which radically dismissed practices that were associated with any kind of, of craft material. So this was also something that was going to be a challenge for them um, to somehow deflate that hierarchy. For feminist artists, the fact that practices like knitting or crochet or other forms of fiber art were associated with women historically was positive and it was something that they wanted to use um, or leverage to provide a, a critique of the hierarchy of art and craft. In other words, they wanted to reveal that hierarchy as not natural but ideological. That's something that had to do with social hierarchies, say of gender or even race. The work White Form by Barbara Shawcroft is a large-scale hanging sculpture made in a technique that she refers to as knotless netting. This work by Sheila Hicks, The Principal Wife Goes On, consists of skeins of linen which are coiled with brightly colored silk. Sengen Ngudi's work, RSVP, consists of women's pantyhose that are weighted with sand. And so these pendulous sacks are installed in different ways, um, pinned to the wall. I took sewing lessons as a child, uh, and I did uh, quite a bit of embroidery and needlepoint. Today, I really am a hobbyist. I do uh, know how to sew. I took sewing lessons, so I uh, occasionally mend um, my own clothes, but that's about it. 